All rise. Support court with Judge Vanda B is now in session. Judge, this is case number JVB1016, Mercy case. Thank you. You're welcome. You all may be seated. Okay, Miss Mercy, you're back. Yes. What's going on? Well, and he's I here. See... Okay. All right. All right. How all right. you doing, Your Honor? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing well. Good, good. Thank you for showing up for court. Thank you. This time. Yeah. Listen, he showed okay. up. Okay. Regardless. Be nice. It's a good day. He showed up. He's here today. He's going to have his opportunity to have his day in court, just like you did. Okay? Now, let's go. What's going on? He just really doesn't like the child support payments. I'm still having a hard time getting a hold of him. Um, we discussed visitation and like shared custody. He's not picking the kids up on his days, but he's out on social media, story going wild. Okay, so why are you back here today? I guess I'm a little confused. Are you trying to make him pay more? Yes. Okay, the last time you were here, you brought in some receipts that really didn't prove that he made more money. What, what do you have today? Okay, so yes, I do have some proof about his income now. Um, I knew he wasn't gonna give that proof to me, so I catfished him, and I hit him up under profile Marissa. You remember Marissa? Hmm, no, I don't know the Marissa. Oh, okay, you had a lot to say to Marissa. Hmm. So you're on well, the- uh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you created a fake account by the name of Marissa, mm -hmm. and he was telling Marissa how much money he makes? Mm -hmm. He fell for the bait. Isn't that illegal, Your Honor? Which part? All of it. No. Um, we'll get to you in just a second, because I have a lot of questions just based off of that. Marissa, mm -hmm. so he told, allegedly, he told Marissa all of this information about how much money he makes, are you sure it was actually him and somebody wasn't using his account? No, it was him. How do you know? Because he protects that phone like his life depended on it. Okay. I have assistants, Your Honor, that um, run my social media account. Okay. One second. Now, what, what do you have? So, I thought he made 20000 a week. 20000 I remember that. You said he made $20,000 a week, and I thought I, that was a bit extreme it, for a banker. It was. <laughs> it was a little extreme. So, he actually makes 4000 a week, and I've got that proof right here for you. Okay. All right, so that's an additional, if true, it's an additional $16,000 a month. Mm -hmm. Let's look through here. Okay. And you're wanting an increase of his child support. You do this much talking? I, hold on, I get to you in a minute. I do, I get to you in a minute. So you want an increase of his child support based on these captions about 4000 Oh, he actually said it. Mm hmm Okay. A again, allegedly, because he said he has an assistant. So, let me make sure I write this down. 16000 additional to the 60000 that you already said he makes. Mm hmm Okay, all right. The 60000 a year is 16 addition, 16000 okay. Um, is there anything else you want me to know before I move over to him? Because you were here the last time, so I heard a lot of what you said, and I have my notes here in front of me. I really want to hear from Dad. Yeah, I do too, since he decided to show up today. Listen, he showed up. Again, he, he showed, showed up. up. You're right, you're right. We, didn't we have this conversation? You're right, he's here. You were here the last time when we talked about you being petty. Y'all yeah, wrote it down, little bag. Yes, we're not going to be petty today. <clears throat> We're gonna give him an opportunity to speak because he wasn't here the last time, okay? Okay. All right. Now, sir, would you spell your last name for me? Yes, Your Honor. Um, C-O-T-T-Y. All right. Is it Cotty? Cotty. Okay. Mr. Cotty. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your What's Honor. going Excuse on? Me. What's going on? And when I'm asking that question, I'm not looking for, you know, what happened in your relationship and went wrong. We've already established that. There's a court order that says you're supposed to pay $768 a month, okay? 
So I do have some questions about that in addition to this new evidence that she brought in. Now, you said an assistant uses your account. Tell me about that. Your Honor, I'm a local rapper. Um, that's how I, I do shows and stuff. Okay. Um, concerts, um, you know, YouTube, my Spotify, you know, that's how I make my money. It all equals out to about 60000 a year. Okay. Um, as an organization, we have a label that I created um, back in the Gap, and uh, we do fundraisers on the weekend. We do, like, bake sales and we sell baked goods. That's not taxable income because I was trying to tell her that's for the business. That's not for me personal. You I mean, more bacon than just on the weekend. It's my business. Excuse you. It's, it's, um, oh, one, I'm sorry, one sec, One second, Mr. Cotty. Excuse I'm you. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, just don't do it, okay? All right, give him an opportunity to speak. He let you speak. Okay. Okay, continue. Yeah, so we bake goods, you know, and um. I wasn't aware that, um, oh, this is Marissa, but, um... So it is true. You were talking to Marissa. Well, I see my messages, but I have an assistant who runs my account. You know, I can't be doing those day-to-day -day things. I got other things that I like to tend to throughout the day. All right. So this additional money that are on your captions on social media, is that you speaking or is that your assistant? That's my assistant speaking on my behalf. So it is true. It's my assistant speaking on my behalf. <sighs> Mr. Cotty, you show up to court for the first time today and the first thing you want to do is waste my time. No, you are. No, no, Please no, no, no. do not come in here and waste my time. It's a very straightforward question. If they're posting on your behalf, that means what they are posting is true. Yes or no? Correct. Okay. So it is true then. You're making the additional money, but you're saying it's for an organization? Correct. Fundraiser. Okay. All right. So not personal? Yes. Is it under any type of LLC or anything like that? Sole proprietorship. Okay. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. He's saying that that money is not going to him personally. It's for a business. Do you know about the label, Your Honor? He, oh, do you know about the label? I know that they have a it's name. It's a yes or a no. I don't know. Yes, but no. Don't hate. Just say okay. it. Okay. What does that even mean? Yes, but no. They're like a group of people who give themselves a title, but are they a legitimate label? That I don't know. She's been to the concerts, Your Honor. Front row. Right, but me and my homegirls, we call ourselves something and we're not a label, so. Okay. Well, I guess, let me ask this question. Do you have access to private health insurance? No, Your Honor, I just go to the hospital when I need to go. Can you get access to health insurance coverage? Because right now you're reimbursing her $150 for coverage. I thought they ended Obamacare. Okay, so this is the way it works. That's not private health insurance. Oh. Private health insurance is something that you have and that you pay for every month. That's what she's doing. Oh. The children have to be covered. How much that cost? Well, it depends on what um, program you want to put them under. Right now, she's paying a $150. If you can find something cheaper than that, that would be an option. But if not, it's best to leave the children under her health insurance plan and just reimburse her, which is what you're currently doing. So another 150 on top of what I already pay? No, the 150 is included in that. Without wow. the 150, it comes out to roughly $618. Including that is $768. So if you were to provide health insurance privately for the children, you would just pay that amount, but your child support would be dropped down to a lesser amount. Your Honor, she don't even take the kids to the doctor. I'm the one always taking them to the doctor, taking them to the dentist. When? When they see it. Because I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, so. But she's on social media, though. Are you, do, do the children live with you? Might as well say they do. It's a yes or a no. I would like to say, well, no, 
but they always over there. Okay. So the children primarily live with her, right? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so that means she would be the one that is entitled to receive the child support from you. And it is based strictly off of your net resources. So by your own admission, you make more money. However, you're saying it is for your business. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you bring in the paperwork from your sole proprietorship, like the tax return or anything like that, to show that this is, biz this is, this is money that is actually not taxable towards you, but to the business? I didn't know I was supposed to bring that today, Your Honor. All right. You got served. Did you read the paperwork you were served with? I was at my concert. Guy handed me a piece of paper I was performing. That's about it. So the answer is no, probably. Correct. Okay. Well, within that paperwork, when you're served, it tells you you're coming to court today, and these are some documents that you need to bring with you. Now, granted, everybody doesn't bring them, but that's how you would have been able to prove that the money that's been posted on your social media that you have admitted to is additional income, but it's for the business, not for your person. Because if you don't do that, it looks like all of that is going into your pocket. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, all due respect, I ain't filed my taxes about three, four years, so how, we gonna, how does that work? Uh, okay, that's between you and the IRS. That doesn't have anything to do with me. Oops. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so, anywho, so this is what we're going to do. Until you bring something in here that shows this income is not yours, your person, it is for your business, Texas law says that it's a net resource. So it has to be included in your gross. Do you understand what that means? What if I stop doing my fundraisers? Well, you're currently doing it, right? Even if you stop doing your fundraisers, people do that all the time. You have to know I have seen and heard that before. People will come in here, find out that the additional money that they're making on the side is going to be included in their child support and they no longer want to do it. But guess what? You're still going to pay child support based off of it. Hmm. So I can't quit. Oh, you can quit? It's just not gonna do anything in your child support. Okay, you understand that? I got you. Okay, all right. Do you have any questions? No, Your Honor, I don't. Okay, why are you smiling so hard? Got you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> got him what? Finally to show up and take care of his kids. That's all I've been asking. You know what? At the end of the day, he didn't have to show up the last time because you got exactly what it is that you asked this court for, and that was child support, right? Mm -hmm. Excuse me? It's yes, right? Yes. Okay. So what you are not going to do is antagonize him. You got exactly what it is that you said you needed for the children, and that was for him to take care of his kids. Now, if there's another reason that you're upset, then let it be for that. But he did exactly what he was supposed to do. He came back to court, even though he, he fumbled around with it, he eventually told the truth, okay? So you got exactly what you, you wanted. So why are you being mean to him? Why are you being petty? Sorry, it's just a lot of built up emotion. Because she's I single, seen Your Honor, that's all. Huh? She's single. Oh, because, so that's what it is, it's some hurt feelings. Because you bought that little bag. A little jealousy. You heard what she said, talking about the catfishing. That's all we hear. How many times, can she keep bringing, it, bringing me back here, Your Honor? The short answer is yes. If she, as long as she has new evidence and it triggers a material and substantial change, she can. Every month, every year? No, a material and substantial change doesn't happen like that, right? Now you win the lottery tomorrow, that's a material and <laughs> substantial be change. Back. I but um, I, I really don't like that you over there smelling like that. You still <laughs> like him? No. I can't tell. I don't even listen to his you music. You know what? <laughs> Y'all even color coordinated. 
Y'all have the same patterns on? You I think she's spying on me, Your Honor. Shirts? I think oh she's spying on me. What's that about? Is there something you all want to tell me today? Go ahead, make a confession. I don't have anything here. to say. Mm -hmm. Thank know, you, Your Judge. Honor. Mm -hmm. I take good care of my kids, Royce and Rose. Well, all I say is this. If you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, that's it. And I got three other kids. Oh, yeah, she did mention that you had five kids total. As long as you, are you on child support for those other children? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, all right. So this is what we are going to do. Based on that additional income, you actually kind of max out. I'm trying to tell her. Um, his, his income maxes out, okay? Do you understand what that means? No. All right, so that means that although he has that additional money that you saw, that does not mean you're going to get 15% of all of that money. Okay. All right? So, so what, what do you, what were you thinking his child support should have been? So I can tell you it's not that. I just thought a smooth thousand would be substantial. You thought for a both thousand? of the kids together. Oh, so two thousand each? No, one thousand total. Oh, one thousand each, two thousand total. I mean, that'll work too. Okay. So yeah, this is what we're going to do. I I have the authority to base his child support off of that additional money, right? However, you also admitted that you know about the business. So you know that that additional money is related to his business, right? His baking business. Yeah, the baking business. You know that, right? So the fact that you know it is kind of disingenuine for you to come in here and act as though you didn't know it because it, it doesn't look like you're no longer coming in here for the benefit of the kids. It looked like you just want to come in here and stick it to them and get more money off of them. No, these kids are very expensive. No, I don't disagree that children are very expensive. However, you can't play with unclean hands. Toxic. You know, excuse me. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Excuse me. Now, I, I got on to her about being petty. Let's not do that. My bad. I'm, I apologize, Your Honor. Don't be sorry. Just don't do it. All right? So, you can't play with unclean hands. You come in here, you say he didn't show up to court, he's not taking care of these kids, and you know about the baking business. You know that it makes additional money on the side. So this is what I'm going to do. I am not going to make him pay child support at that higher amount because based on what he said and based on what you said, it's not income for him personally. It's income for his business, okay? So what we are going to do, though, is have you carry the health insurance. Now, you said you can get access. You don't have access to it right now, but you can put them under a health insurance plan? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So put them under a health insurance plan. I'll give you credit for $150. So we'll just leave the child support alone. Boom. Stay, it'll stay where it is. It'll stay at the $768 amount. Okay. Thank you for wasting our time today. Well, Thank you for showing up. Had you had been here last time, we wouldn't be going through this today. Okay. I just well, got served. You, neither one of you kind of wasted my time fully being here today because he needed to show up, obviously, to get the, the truth revealed for truth. what you already knew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... You know, you can't throw shade at him without pointing the finger back at yourself. You right. Mm -hmm. I know I'm right, I'm always right. Now, is there anything further? No? No. Okay, anything further? No, Your Honor, thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome. Well, if there's nothing further, you both are dismissed. All right. Hope you don't have any plans this weekend. You're babysitting. Babysit his own kids, okay. Be sure to like this video by clicking the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel.